<clears throat> hey everybody, it's Monday. Welcome to Creepy Conversations. This is Shelly and Polly. And Boomer, <laughs> Boomer is pacing around here somewhere. Yep, you hear <laughs> here click, we go. Click, 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 click. How was your week? It was good. Good. And in two weeks, we're going to the circus. <laughs> We the are macabre, the circus. <laughs> the macabre circus. Yay. Um, and, oh, real quick, we are still working on the veil. We have not abandoned the project. It's just a lot of technical stuff we are learning because we want to bring the very best show we can to you. From and us. From us. <laughs> With love. And creepiness. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of macabre. Okay, so, have you ever heard of Feral Kids? No, I haven't. I well, would like to become one. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Um, it sounds fun. <laughs> it sounds sad. It's oh no, it is. There's and and I just how I got into this is I saw one story and then it went into it. another story into another story. How there, did it even come up? Is what I'm thinking. It just I don't know. I look up a lot of weird stuff and it just Apparently. caught my eye. I don't know. But I can't believe how there many is such a thing that you would think there would be one case of a feral child. You would think there would be no cases, but yay, maybe that's one. Sad. But okay, go on. Okay, so I have many that I have found, but the one I would like to discuss today is Oksana Malaya from Ukraine, and this is from 1991. Wow. That's pretty current. That well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's modern. Yeah, you know that's what, what I mean? mean for a feral child. That's what like, I'm saying. You would think back in the 1800s, yeah, maybe, that's what like, I was they say. fell off the wagon and a wolf <laughs> took care of them. I don't know, but you know what I mean, like exactly. Okay, so Oksana was found living with dogs in a kennel in 1991. She was eight years old and had lived with the dogs for six years. Her parents were alcoholics, and one night. They had left her outside. Looking for warmth, the three-year-old crawled into the farm kennel and curled up with the manged dogs, an act that probably saved her life. When discovered, she behaved more like a dog than a human child. She ran on all fours, panted with her tongue out, bared her teeth, and barked. Because of her lack of human interactions, she only knew the words yes and no. Intensive therapy aided Oksana to learn basic social skills and verbal skills, but only with the ability of a five-year-old. Now 30 years old, she lives in a clinic in Odessa and works with the hospital's farm animals under the supervision of her caretakers. So, so like what happened with her parents? Well, my thing is, wait, so these animals... She was found in... In, like, they had um, a bunch of mangy dogs in a, like, in a barn so, on their farm. And so, when she was three, her parents, I guess, they threw her out and she so, got... And more, apparently nobody was... Nobody checked on her again. the dogs either, right? Yeah, because they were mangy. Okay. Yeah. So. so, they were wild dogs. But then, like, okay, so I have so many questions. Baby? I have so many questions. I'm Did you not have out. neighbors? Yeah. Did you not have family that yeah. said whatever happened to the three-year-old? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, did you not? Two-year-old. She was two. Did you not feed the dogs? That's what I'm saying. Nobody checked on the dogs. Nobody checked on the baby. So it's really weird. It doesn't make any sense. And this was in 1990s. So it's not like it was the days of your That's back in saying. the 1700s where you're out in nowhere in land where nobody knows that you exactly. even had a baby. Exactly. I. This is the 1900s. What the heck? And then I wonder, so did social services finally find the children? Are the parents in prison? Like, there was no ba like no further That's updates. what I want to know what's going on. Yeah. I want the jump update. Yes. Parents were in prison for neglect. Exactly. Dogs or were finally Or they dead. should be thrown to the wolves or dogs. Because right. they said what happened to the kids, so what happened to the parents? Now, like, this one is really short, but it's more okay understandable because of the year. Okay. This is Lobo Wolf Girl. 
It's from Mexico, the years 1845 to 1852. Now, this okay. makes more sense, okay? Yeah. Um, in 1845, a girl raised by wolves was seen running on all fours with a pack of wolves attacking a herd of goats. A year later, she was recognized with the wolves eating a goat. She was finally captured, but she escaped in 1852. She was seen yet again suckling two wolf cubs, but she ran into the woods and she was never seen again. Okay, questions. Yeah. <laughs> How do you suckle a wolf cub if you've never been pregnant? How do you lactate? Is that a thing? I have heard that you would lactate if they like if you nurse enough well that's what i'm saying like um if i understand like if say you have a baby yeah and then you're nursing yeah. and then you go out to dinner and you hear a baby crying at the table next to you and you start leaking that's a thing oh i didn't know it, about it, that yeah but that's okay. if you're already nursing right. but like sh did she not if she never got pregnant, she's just a wild girl. How did she all of a sudden start producing milk? It's just if you if they do it enough. That's what I heard. Oh, I didn't I even know, know that. All right, but that was kind. Of, but that's more. Maybe she had a wolf baby. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe she did. <laughs> but that's more like yeah. believable because yes. it was back in the 1845 yeah. to 1852. Although you got to wonder where she came from, but whatever. Right. And then there's one more that I'm going to do today because it's do it's. It. Do not it. as old, but it's not as new as the right. 90s. This is from 1972. So still, still a modern... Yeah, 1900s, yeah. Right. Okay, and this is a kid named Shamdio, and it's from India, 1972. Shamdio, a wolf boy, aged about four years old. Oh! He was <laughs> discovered in a forest in India in 1972 when he was about four years old. He was playing with wolf cubs. His skin was very dark, and he had sharpened teeth, long hooked fingernails, matted hair, and calluses on his palms, elbows, and knees. He was fond of chicken hunting and would eat earth and had a craving for blood. He bonded with dogs. He was finally weaned off of eating raw meat. He never talked, but he did learn some sign language. In 1978, he was admitted to Mother Teresa's home for the destitute and dying in Lucknow, India, where he was renamed Pascal. He died in February 1985. So he didn't live very long. Because hmm. they found him, he was four in 72, and then he died in 85. That's How sad. How did he do his sign language? He's raised like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. If that he had pause, if he had pause, so <laughs> that, that was that, that was rude. But I'm yeah, going to hell. I just sorry. No, <laughs> I might be in hell when I see you next. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, I have so many more, and I just I, I want to stop wait. there for today yeah. because I just I I could like I said we have in the feral beginning, kids corner. Yes, feral kids corner. <laughs> Go to your corner, you feral <laughs> <child>. <laughs> No bites. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, in all honesty, I, I can't wrap my head around it. Like, I can't get it either. Like, nobody saw so that girl it for really years. really is a real thing when you say, what were you, raised by wolves? Yeah. <laughs> were you raised in a yes. barn? Uh, yes, Matter I was. Matter of fact, I was. Got a problem with it? <laughs> Don't talk about my mama. She'll come Don't and make me during my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> he will eat you alive. Mm. But yeah, it's just... I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And like I said, maybe one or two from back in the day, but some of these are really modern. Are too current for mm -hmm. my liking. Well, some of them that I'm going to get into next week are more current. The 1991 and one, ah, oh, that was... How? What? I mean, you never Who? check on your child again. And even if you're an alcoholic, you sober up, dude. At one point, you're You sober. remember, oh I my God, I've got a baby. I woke up, oh my God, I'm awake, I better get drunk again. What? You're never a and like, sober to Do they life? not have CPS in Russia? <laughs> or they don't care? You know what I mean? Maybe I don't know. It. I don't it's know. It's just weird. But everywhere, you know, no, everybody they, cares about their families. Yeah. No matter what nationality you are, you love your family. You would think that some, an aunt well, or I, a friend. Was that Russia or Ukraine? 
Shoot, I better get it right. Because there's a war. Cause... No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get bombed. It was from Ukraine. My bad. Ukraine, not Russia. Okay, Ukraine. so... It's not... What do you call it? Um, uh, uh, what do you... Dang it. Mandatory? No. Uh, 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 what is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what you're trying to say. Russia is, but Ukraine is fighting them, so they won't be. They're, um, government. <laughs> I have no idea. Red. I don't know what you mean. Say the word for red. Red. I don't know what you mean. Oh, it's their it's their government. But I don't understand. Like we have democracy, they have communism. Yes. Oh, do. okay. I'm like red. So. What do you mean? <laughs> the red pill? No. <laughs> the blue pill? Red pill? What do no. you mean? So communism. Ukraine is not communist, right? Shit, I don't even know. Okay. I, you know, I get them well, mixed up because I, I just. Ugh. Yeah. Because I was thinking if it was Russia, it would be communist and they would, I would think they would know like every child. Every, yeah. Da, 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 da. Like China. So, like, you yeah. You know, like you have more than one child. Right. You got to go. Like, so yeah, they would have. That's how tabs. they would know every child. But Ukraine. Ukraine maybe might not. not. Yeah. I keep tabs on every single child that's born. Quite honestly, I'm not very geographically inclined yeah. and I don't pay enough attention yeah. to the so politics they might to know yeah. keep as much track. I yeah. just know they don't like one another very much. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why we keep sending them money because we need to help ourselves. Yeah. Ramped and ring. No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. So. Anywho. Anyhow. But yeah, but still, that's still too current for my likings for that stuff. I just, I don't. And you know what? There's probably more that goes on that we know, don't know about. I don't know. Yeah, like, but there's ooh, like, creepy. I don't know. I think I found 15 cases. Oh my gosh. And some of them are older, but some of them are more modern where we have telephones. We have, you know what I mean? Even yeah. if we didn't have internet, yeah. we still had phones. And like I said, do you not have an extended family, like a grandma saying, where's that grandbaby? Oh, yeah. she's with the mangy dogs. Right. You know, like. <laughs> exactly. Oh, where is she? Or, I haven't seen her in a while. If they had the baby and nobody knew they had the baby, you know what right. I mean? Some people are like that. How would they know about when she got put in the dogs? Because she couldn't tell you. I was three or two or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like. Well, yeah, because that you hear about those stories of girls in high school or whatever that nobody knew they were pregnant, and then they had a baby, and right. So, which I don't even get that. <laughs> How do you not know you're pregnant? A, I'm late. Oop, I'm late again. Oop, I'm late again. I might be pregnant. I'm gaining weight. <laughs> My boobs hurt. I think I might be pregnant. I mean, how do you not know? I wouldn't know. That you're I've pregnant? never been pregnant. No, but I mean, so I don't know. You know. I mean, you, you just you do. I mean, your body yeah. changes. I don't understand your your moods. Like yeah, and the main thing you missed your monthly. Yeah, unless you're somebody that was never regular. Well, never yeah, then I understand blah, blah, that. Blah. Or like. They'll I be these know. heavy girls. They're super duper heavy. Yeah. Right? And they'll be like, well, I didn't know I was. I understand how their parents don't yeah. know because they're heavy anyway. So they can yeah. hide that shit, you know, and air stuff. But like how I just don't know you as an individual, how you would not know because you feel your body change like you do. Yeah. And I, I just never understood. How did you not know you were pregnant? I don't get it. I don't get I don't it. Know. I don't get it. Every time I, I guess hear that it's story, their first time, so they don't know that that's supposed to be doing that, or not know it's supposed to do that, or I don't know. Uh, they're I young don't know. and stupid. They there's seventh grade <laughs> health class that tells you. <laughs> I just or there's fifth grade recess. <laughs> <laughs> you mean first grade? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I remember in first grade, our neighbor. I hung out with this one girl. I'm not going to say her name. But we went to our other neighbor's house and her dog started humping her leg. And she's like, you know, that's 
how mom and dads do it or whatever. And me and my friend were so mad at her. We're like, our parents would never. We were, so, <laughs> we were deluded. Now first graders are doing it. Like, it's terrible. But yeah, we were so mad at her for like a week. We're like, don't talk about my parents that way. They would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> the innocence back yeah. in the day. If kids, only it still was like that. I know. Kids were so innocent. I was. I, I was, was a little innocent. I played with Barbie. You know. Yeah. Well, I was like in middle school then. I was 12. <laughs> I was 13 or 14. Yeah. And you know. <laughs> I think 13. So, yeah. I heard on the radio uh, that they want, she's looking for like the best Barbie collection. Because of the Barbie movie. Oh, out. okay. I cannot have such a thing because I gave all my Barbies haircuts. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> no, they are, yeah. and they weren't even good haircuts. They all look like boys or GI Joes. <laughs> and apparently, I don't, I don't even know what I was thinking. Oh. Why? <laughs> they weren't even good haircuts. <laughs> I just got it. You just probably were in a... Nobody ever told me, hey, you should leave those alone because they might be worth something someday. No. Cut their hair. Well, maybe you went through a phase where you wanted to be a stylist. Like I said, they weren't even good haircuts. But well, you were just practicing. Sure You got to start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said they ended up looking like G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah. My brother's G.I. Joe's were my Barbie's boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were. <laughs> That's true. Well, my brothers didn't have those. So, I I got the Ken doll. That's right. Oh, we had Ken doll. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. And then my brothers had the Hot Wheels with the orange tracks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. I was a Hot Wheels girl. Uh, I still love Hot yeah. Wheels. Like, Ben <laughs> has, like, cases and cases because he's been collecting them his mm -hmm. whole life. And he's been wanting to get rid of them. I'm like, don't you dare! <laughs> no! And, I mean, I just look at them. I just, I love, they're so Oh, cool. I know. It's like when we went to Comic-Con, the mini miniatures. Yeah. I could have spent the whole day in that miniature yeah. place. Next time we go, we just need to pay tickets for that. Yeah. I bet it'd be a lot cheaper. Oh, yeah? I bet it would be. I didn't know you could do just certain parts. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, that's why it was separate. You have to pay admission oh. to get into that part. So maybe we'll we should take that. a day trip. And I, want, I bet we could take pictures there yeah. of it. Yeah, take that, Lou Ferrigno. So no, there, just kidding. Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> Mr. Hulk. Huh. But yeah, so anything else on oh. the agenda? Or, I mean, on your mind. Um, on your agenda mind. <laughs> my mind has no agenda. <laughs> yes. I have a kindness corner. Yay! Kindness corner! Oh, my voice. <laughs> it's very early in the morning. Oh, kind of. What time is it? It's my morning. It's 1040. <laughs> That's, like, early for me, dude. <laughs> You don't even understand. It's true. Oh, you don't know the vampire. life of a vampire. Vampire. I was. I told Emma she's a vampire because she, she is because of her teeth. She. Well, yeah, that too. That and she does like Trevor does. She waits to be invited. In <laughs> like, dude, what are you doing? Get in. I lock her in rooms all she the time. She has to be invited in. Or out of a room also. Is that weird? Do you ever think that maybe Trevor talks to her sometimes? Yeah, all the because time. Because I think Heidi talks to all him. Dan, the time. And Dan doesn't believe in that stuff. And Dan even says, he goes, I swear Heidi's talking to him. Oh, because constantly. She yeah. like, he acts like her. Like he, he does certain things like her or yep. like he knew the rules right away. And does he, do you know what does I mean? he do this all, a lot? Stare at nothing? Yeah. Yes. And then sometimes a oh Emma does that. She'll sit and stare. And then sometimes she'll bark. And I'm like, what are you looking at? Probably Trixie and Trevor. Oh, I Trevor bet you. constantly. But and, I bet Trevor because he's Trevor's, more recent. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I really think that they are watching over him. Dan yeah. said, he goes, I think Heidi, when we got Boomer, Heidi had a talk with him and said, no, this is how you got to be. You well, can't tell, poop in the house, and you can't do this. Well, because he acts her, just like her. I tell her to be nice and to let Emma, Emma come over. Because Heidi and Trevor 
were our sidekicks. Yeah, they they like each other so. Mm -hmm. And you just want to eat Emma. First, you just wanted to hump her. Now you just want <laughs> to destroy her. her. And she just wants to play. She is the sweetest. She's girl. a baby girl. She is, and she is the sweetest. But you know, Milo loves playing with her. So oh, anytime, I know. my mom's like, bring her back anytime. <laughs> and my mom likes you too, so. Yeah. And it's uh, very rare. She doesn't care for a lot of my friends. <laughs> But somebody likes me. I mean, she cares for them. Yeah, I just, I, know. I, I don't, I hang out with you now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, like, yeah. back in the day, I used to yeah. party and stuff, and I hung out with some partying peeps. Yeah. You know? Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, so. I gotcha. Yeah. But so. Oh, yeah. So. Find this corner. My pet this corner is you. Me? Yeah. Why? What I do? Because you do the show. You, uh. I love you. You work on the show. It's my pleasure. You I promise you. It. You it's do it. You do all the all the work. But hopefully, if we can do our classes together, I can help you do more. Yes, we are taking classes. We want to start taking classes and be smart together. Yes. So this is why our uh, the veil is going to be pushed a little bit further down. But it is coming. It is coming. We are yes. working really hard on it. We're taking some computer classes so we can Yay. bring you the, our very best. Yes. So I apologize for it taking a little long, but, but it is coming. It's going to be worth the wait. And it's all going to be true stories, true murder. True, true murder. <laughs> true murder. <laughs> true murder. Well, not fake. You know what I mean? I'm saying not legends. Yes. Like the legends is going to be all legends. Some could of it's it true, some of it's not. Legend? Could it be lore? Could it be true? Could it be but more? But the veil is real. Yes, the veil is going to be true stories only. That's true right. murder. True madness. True <laughs> macabre. And I guess. I have a whole series. <laughs> Just like the two of us. Just true like madness. Us. True madness. <laughs> And I hopefully w we will be able to take video at Cirque du Soleil coming in a couple weeks. Um, it is the Macabre Circus. Yes. We got tickets and we got Yay. good seats. So hopefully we will be allowed to video in there. Comic Con, we weren't really allowed to. So And then we were so focused on real life that we kind of forgot. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I, I was. I was so focused on being in yeah. the moment that I forgot to kind of. But yeah. we weren't supposed to anyway, so. Yeah, but we will try our best to get that to you. If not, I we'll will take some pictures. Yeah, of I'll something. sneak. I'll sneak something in there. Yeah, at least proof that we went. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to get up on the trapeze. Yeah, <laughs> I'll jelly up with one hand. <laughs> Oh my God! Could you imagine? <laughs> That's what our computer classes are for, so we can learn to do. Yes, we can learn to do the computer <laughs> yes. tricks. Okay, so stay tuned for some shell spells. There is a new one I popped down. Um, well, it's not new, new. It's a couple <laughs> weeks now, but I did put down the a short about the aurora borealis, which I forgot to see. I did not forget because you know I'm a sky watcher, but. You forgot to remind me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Maybe you Did should you watch the show. No. <laughs> I know, it's right. Did you get um, No, it? that's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. It doesn't even matter because A, um, you got to be away from city lights. Um, B, it was like, we I don't know if it was city from here the, in the smoke. Berg. I know. Yeah. Well, this yeah. metropolis, this booming metropolis. But oh, um, the smoke. The smoke. Yeah. And then you, like the best place for us, if we were to want to see it, we should have gone to Lake Michigan so we could oh, look at the horizon. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Boo. But anyway, yeah, and it was stormy. Thursday yeah. was the night we were supposed to um, be able to see it, and it was too stormy. So gotcha. I couldn't, and I went, they said you might be able to see it Friday, and I couldn't see Jack. Okay, so. I don't feel bad now. But I was outside until like... 2 30 so because it was supposed to be 10 to 2 they and, tricked us yeah but i sit out there all night like i'm always outside yeah you know so mm -hmm. in the day i'm in my swing in the night i'm in my fake fire pit looking at my <laughs> stars <laughs> oh i did see a weird thing okay first of all i heard so i knew it was a helicopter right oh okay 
so but it was flying real real low so before I could see it, I could hear it. So yeah. I'm looking like this, like, where is it coming from? Because I like to look at right. planes and stuff. And so I'm looking to see where it's coming from. And I look up to the right, up high, and I see two jets. But one is going this way and one is going this way at the same time. I've never seen that in my life. That's and weird. I'm sure they were very far right, away. Right. But, but it, it looked, looked like they were just... From the ground, the perception. Like passing each it other. It looked like yeah. they were just passing by. Like That's two weird. cars on the road. Yeah. And I'm like, I've never seen planes do that. And then right after they did that, then the helicopter came on my left side and it was real, real low. Whoa. Like real low and it went like toward the school. Yeah. And I told Dan about it and Dan's like, well... Maybe they just had, and I know that's the flight pattern, right? Because I see planes going back and forth, right. but I never see them at the same, at the same time. time going right. in opposite directions. And I couldn't see like because they were up high, so I couldn't see any logos, right? But they just looked like white plane, like right. jets, like big passenger jets, right? But they just looked white, but they were like, and I was wow. like, what the who? And then with <laughs> hey. that helicopter down, I'm like, are we in the war? Yeah, like, I, you know, was the I'm always ready. Like a lifeline helicopter? It just was black. Oh. It didn't have anything on it. Oh. It was just straight up black. So mm -hmm. I don't know, but it was flying real low, like toward the toward town. Uh. So I don't know, but it was really low. Mm -hmm. And then I've been seeing a lot of low flying jets, like lower than I normally see. Yee. So super weird. I don't know. Ha ha have you got? <laughs> have scared. you? Scared. I'm a little <laughs> perplexed. I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit shaky.